Well, folks, this is Marty out here in Ozark Outdoors. Got the Grindle barrel put on the AR, and uh, I'm gonna do a little test here. I've been shooting some 140 grain Sierra Match Kings. They seem to shoot pretty good out of it. That's the load. But right. the other day, Midway had some bullets on sale. It said 140 grain hollow point boat tail match. And it said they were seconds. Like uh, junk bullets, I guess. I don't know. And they were about half the price of the Sierra bullets. So anyway, I, I bought a box of them. So I thought I'd give them a try and took my uh, bullet comparator and put on the uh, dial caliper. They measured the same as the uh, Sierra bullets. So I'm pretty sure they are Sierra bullets. They weighed out good. I don't see any difference in them. Don't know what what's different about them, why they're called seconds, but uh, anyway, I thought I'd give them a try. So I loaded some of them up to the same specs as the ones that had been shooting good out of it. So I'm gonna try some of them and here at 100 yards and see if the groups are any different than the Sierra bullets. Get the chronograph and get a few readings on them. Just, just so I'll know. I don't see any, why there'd be any difference in velocity, but the bearing surface seemed to be exactly the same. They look, measuring them wise, they look just like a Sierra bullet, so we'll give them a try. Alright, I'm going to shoot the uh, Sierra bullets first. Well, looks like group-wise they shot just about the same. Low was 2280. I had one look like it's kind of out of the group. I don't know, it could have been bad load. 2354 was a high. Average 23.24. There's a big extreme spread there because that one was short on velocity. 22.80, 23 23 23.24. So, well, that one may have just didn't get enough powder in that case. I was using a powder thrower and I was weighing every other one, so I could have got one a little short on powder. Let's 
Go down there and check out the targets. Well, these were the second that I shot. I got from Midway. One of them must have went in the same hole because I shot five shots. Top hole looks a little bit more raggedy. I'd say one, two of them went in that hole there. It's not bad. I deal with that. And the 140 Sierras. The very first shot I shot out of it hit here. I saw where it hit. And then the second one hit there. And then the last three hit there. So I guess as the barrel got a little bit of dirt in it and it tightened up maybe because it's pretty much in the same spot here as these are here. So I guess I'll just move it over two inches and up an inch and call it good. Go ahead and load those seconds up. And same spec as the other ones. The next time they come on sale, I'll buy a bunch of them. Cause they're about half the price of the Sierra bullets. Seem to shoot just as good here at 100 yards. Well, folks, I got the Grindle out here. I'm at 414 yards. Uh, I'm going to test these 140 grain match kings. I verified the velocity and the zero and the uh, ballistics calculator saying it's going to drop 46 inches at this distance. So uh, that's with a 0.525 ballistic coefficient is what I found on the 140 grain Match King Sierra bullet. So hopefully it's right and Took the weather conditions, added them into the calculator, so hopefully when we hit this target. There it is, 414 yards. Let's go down there and see if we hit it. Well, they didn't group too awfully bad, but they shot a lot higher than what the calculator was calling for. That's six and a half inch group here at 414 yards. But it was it was 10 inches high, nine and a half to 10 inches high. My velocity was on because I checked it with the chronograph. Yeah. Sierra's website said their match king is 0.525. That's where I plugged into it. Plugged in the elevation here and the weather. Shot high. Well, folks, I tried a different approach here. I aimed at the very top of the target. Right dead center above the bullseye, but at the very top. And then I'm going to measure the bullet drop. This was with my 100 yard zero. I just left it zeroed at 100 and aimed at the very top of the target. And bullets hit 39 inches low. Here again, about a about a six and a quarter inch group there. So uh, I'm going to use that data and see if I can't hit the bullseye. 
if I can use that data, hit the bullseye, then I'll back out to 700 yards and try it there. I'm sure it's going to be twice as big a group, but maybe I can still hit it a couple times, hopefully. Also, I was looking at the ballistics calculator, and it had my scope listed at 1.7 inches above the bore. And I measured it, and it's actually 2.5 inches above the bore. So I changed that, and uh, that gave me a difference of 2.5 inches at 400 yards of drop also. Well, I think I can see at least one bullet hole in the bike. Long ways down there, this little camera. Let's go down there and check it out. Well, three of them didn't do too bad right there, and two of them was out of the group, but definitely 39 and a half inches put it right where it's supposed to be. There again, it's about six and a half inches. Of a group there, but I'm not shooting off the most stable wrist. The bipod on my gun's a little bit loose, it just doesn't fit this forearm real tight. It has a little bit of wobble to it. I have to be really careful and try to keep it steady. I'm sure off the of sandbags, good solid sandbags, it would probably shoot a little bit better, but let me try that later. See if groups tighten up any. I think I will use this data though and go out to 700 and see if I can get close to it. Well, I'm at 684 yards here. Calculator said it's going to drop around 162 inches. I guess I better get to crank it on the scope. Good long ways down there. Let's go see if we hit anything. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be at 700 yards. I still hit high. It's about four and a half, I guess, high. I had one wild one hit up there, but... Even with it, it's ten and a quarter inches, but these right here's about six and a quarter that way, six and a quarter that way. So the group really didn't get much bigger at, from 414 yards to uh, 700, or well, 680 something I think it was. Didn't quite get 700 yards right here. 